saint who you know very well wasn't a, a saint. He was somebody who was converting people by the whip and the mosquet, uh, by force. And he had a lot of opposition even these days uh, among the Native Americans, uh, which think the whole thing is disgraceful. So this uh, going uh, then tomorrow to the United Nations and blessing basically what is the kickstart for Agenda 2030 seems quite obvious to all of us. Now, for those that don't know what Agenda 2030 is, explain to them how it's phase two of the global treaty of Rio de Janeiro, the Agenda 21 program. Well, basically, there is 17 key points, but it's very interesting also to see who has been chosen to actually represent, you know, the various countries and how this whole process has been done. Because John Potesta, who is at the moment the, the, the key uh, the person who is in charge of the, the whole campaign of Hillary Clinton is one also of the key pe persons in this Agenda 2030 that uh, basically will uh, uh, marry uh, fully what the Pope has already announced in Congress and will probably uh, re-announce again uh, tomorrow, amplifying the whole thing in front of the United Nations, that we have all to suffer, we have to pay carbon tax, they can continue getting richer and richer. We have to remind the people who John Potesta is. I mean, we're talking about a person who has been working for Lockheed Martin. Uh, be Stay there, Leo Zagami. Uh, we're going to try to reconnect with his Skype, maybe get him on the phone. Uh, but uh, it's audible. What's important is the information is absolutely key and vital. Stay with us, Infowars.com. Leo Zagami is our guest. I've seen him in countless documentaries. I've, of course, had dinner with him and hung out with him in Rome. Extremely informed. He just rattles off all these names, all this information in Latin. Uh, he took us over to where the uh, Jesuit order is based, where the Knights of Malta is based. And it really is a paradox because I've seen the Catholic Church do a lot of good work, stand up for human life, stand up against communism, stand up against big corporations and globalism. I know it has a checkered past. Any ancient organization would, but I don't just judge people. But this new pope is so aligned with the Club of Rome, so aligned with the UN, so aligned with the EU, so aligned with globalism. He doesn't oppose a, uh, baby selling, baby parts selling. He doesn't oppose any of the big globalist agendas. And now he's trying to get rid of our borders and running stunts with anchor babies uh, this morning on his procession to Congress. And Congress is crying. It's like when we have the Queen of England visit and everyone's fawning and worshiping royalty. I mean, it, it's, an, it, it's a fraud. But this is now religious royalty. When you're at the Vatican, they say, we are the oldest continuing sovereign, you know, uh, leader in the world, tax exempt. You know, supreme ruler of Earth. I mean, it's just like, whoa. And now our Congress is, is bowing down to it. Leo, this is a short segment, long segment coming up. We're going to open the phones up for people. But bottom line, you got cut off by the break. World government, world taxes, UN announcement, uh, this big treaty in December where they're openly announcing planetary regime. In his words, are they making their move naked because they're behind scheduled and they're concerned? Or is it because they think for some reason they're invincible? Because what they're doing is really waking people up, but they seem to be so arrogant. And I look at this Pope, he just has a wolf-like look in his eyes that, I, that I've never seen in a Pope's face. I mean, Pope John Paul II, people you know, have mixed feelings about, but he was anti-communist. I know you, you've been critical of him to some degree, but he didn't look like a, a raving power-mad Emperor Palpatine. What's going on here? Well, as you know, maybe uh, the liberation theology factor is very important. And actually, Pope Francis was not a supporter, or a supporter in, of any kind of liberation theology during the 70s and 80s. He became, after the fall of the Soviet wall, a supporter of liberation theology like all these mondialist people. It's like they use ideologies just as a tool. And, of course, now the, 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 the communist agenda is on top of all of it. Uh, but um, I don't know if you know about a book that has been, uh, unfortunately, not published in the English language uh, by a, a journalist, an Argentinian journalist called Horacio Verbisky. It's called The Island of Silence. He uh, denounced Pope Francis uh, with a lot of documentation 
that proved that in the 70s uh, he was behind the arrest of these two Jesuits who were later tortured called Orando Iorio and Francisco Yalix. Uh, these two uh, priests, uh, one of them after this experience stayed a Jesuit, the other one actually uh, came out of the Jesuit order and later on died. This Francisco Yalix, when the Pope was elected, he was forced to uh, say that everything he had written or stated earlier was not true and that the Pope was completely innocent. But this is not the case. Pope Francis was actively involved in this uh, situation of, the, of these uh, two priests for six months, arrested and tortured, and actually he even went to visit them during these six months uh, at this place called the Navy School of Mechanics, uh, which uh, is uh, there in Buenos Aires, uh, where they were held. And he basically didn't do anything for them. In the end, the Vatican eventually intervened and they were released. But this demonstrates to you that this Pope really has a lot of skeletons in the closet. And he's definitely no saint as they want to portray now in the U.S. I mean, it's sickening the level of propaganda that they're pulling off these days with, uh, I mean, John Biden on the side crying and also the (laughs) other guy, John Berner, the same. I mean, this is completely ridiculous. I mean... Even for us here in Italy to see the show yesterday at the White House, it was like watching something out of a Walt Disney movie. We, even yourself pointed out on the music with the tee tee I mean, it was like literally. And then there was, <laughs> yes, and then there was the product placement for Fiat. But Fiat is not anymore an Italian company. Fiat Chrysler now is a company that doesn't even have uh, anymore any headquarters. It's multinational. In It's been moved officially since last year outside of Italian territory, so they have nothing to do with Italy. Uh, Agnelli, who was uh, uh, one of the dynasty's most important persons, and now he died for a few years and left in the hands of this Elkan family. Well, uh, Agnelli was a best friend with uh, David Rockefeller. I mean, we're talking here some very powerful people behind the whole thing. So, of course, there is product placement, uh, and it's it's obvious to to all of us. It's a giant, huge corporate rollout. So when we come back... I want to get an answer to that question. you got great audio now. Leo Zagami, the consummate Vatican insider. Why are they making their move right now? Is it because they're strong or because they're weak? Who runs the Catholic Church now? Is this even the Catholic Church? I mean, who is this specter group? David Knight was on with us via Skype from D.C. About to follow the Pope to New York, where he addresses the U.N. And then from there to Philly with Jakari Jackson. We'll have that throughout the weekend. And he was really upset because he was watching different talking heads in the hotel room, and they were just all saying, it's not political, it's good. You're not allowed to criticize the Pope because he's not political. See, he gets political big time. I mean, really hardcore globalist, hardcore eugenics agenda. We're talking about a billion dead in a decade if these carbon taxes go in. I'm not exaggerating. That's a conservative number. I have nauseous levels of empathy for the third world when I think about this. It'd be like knowing they're going to kill a kid across town today at noon and I can't stop it. See, your brain can handle one kid getting killed, and by handle it, it can think about it so you get sick. When I say imagine a two-year-old being raped in a dungeon, they're going to be killed in one hour, you get physically sick if you have empathy. Imagine hundreds of millions of kids. Your brain can't even wrap itself around that. I know mine can't. And what's weird is I'm intellectually sitting back going, come on, you're exaggerating. And then I pull back and I go, no, those are Lord Moncton's numbers and other numbers. And you know the numbers. It's a death sentence for a billion people. And then I see some guy in his huge jet with all these guards saying he's against wealth and, and shooting his mouth off about helping poor people by trying to wreck the industrialized West while stopping the third world from industrializing because he wants a giant horde of idiots to follow him. Pope Francis is a bigger threat than the Soviet Union because the Soviet Union was despicable, it was corrupt, it was evil, it was falling apart. But evil's biggest trick is getting good people to follow it. And I just got to say, I've grown up around Catholics my whole life. They are great, funny, nice, hardworking, smart people. And they're not hypocrites either. I found them to be Christian people that love God, but they won't get on you if you're drinking a beer. I like Catholics, the Catholics I've known, and that's why I've not attacked them. This Pope is a sickening piece of trash. 
And that's all I'm saying. And, and people need to turn against them big time. I don't care what the Jesuits do to me or what type of stuff they try to pull. I, I could care less. <clears throat> they tried to stop William Ayers from bringing those Bibles in from New York. And you saw how that worked in Texas. So I'm not worried about any of it. I got God on my side. The God I follow has the keys, the temporal and spiritual power, not this puppet. And that's all I have to say on the subject. I'm going to go back to Leo Zagami here in a minute, but this is really tearing me up because the fact that they got a pope out in the open calling for world government and carbon taxes and saying don't be so obsessed with abortion and not saying a word about the baby harvesting, this is just the beginning. And by the way, it's Protestant churches are pushing gun control now, and all the government has taken over the churches. So my question to Mr. Zagami, we're going to go to him in a moment, is we know there's been infiltration groups. We know there's been factions wanting to run the Vatican. What, what is this faction running things now? Is there any Catholic church left? Because I know Leo grew up a Catholic, and I, and I want to get his take on that. And then we're going to take your phone calls at 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. And a lot of folks are selfish. They'll say, I don't care if the stock market crashes. Well, the stock market affects you because it affects all the companies in the economy. Or I don't care if the Catholic Church is run by the New World Order. Well, I'm not a Catholic. Well, it's a billion people. You got like a billion, 300 million people that are Islamic. They're being radicalized. Now the Catholics are going to be radicalized into leftist garbage. The leftists are allied with the radical Muslims. That's 2.3 billion people under New World Order control. Then you add the 800 million Protestants or whatever. Always busy fighting with each other. You can really see how the evil is going to take over. 800 Two five nine ninety two thirty one. I've had a lot of Catholic experts tell me the communists really took over in the fifties. We'll get Leo Zagami's quick answers to all this in a moment. So I want to move quick. We'll have him back up, obviously, in the future for an extended interview. Um, this this broadcast is listener supported. Um, we didn't meet our goal with the money bomb, but with satellites, closed captioning, reporters flying people around, a million dollars is just enough to be able to know that we can operate for the next year at the current level and not destroy our small reserves that any organization should have. I intend to expend the reserves regardless because things are getting so serious. We're going to put all our energy into this and just just, just you know, hope and pray that it has the effect we think it will. Everything we've done has always been successful. Every launch has always been successful in different ways. And so in my gut, I can tell we are really reaching more people than ever. We see the numbers. And in my gut, I think this is going to be successful, so pray for us. But it's a daily support that's needed, spreading the word, telling your friends and family about the broadcast, sharing videos, sharing clips, sharing articles, buying high-quality nutraceuticals at InfoWarsLife.com, getting high-quality Patriot apparel to meet like-minded people and spread the word, 20% off the natural uh, great brain pill, brain force, the one to put out the super formula that was very affordable. Uh, we've got 20% off DNA force, our flagship product, just over-the-top high-quality one of the ingredients costs $40,000 a kilo in it. Uh, we've got child ease that naturally calms your children, but also gives them focus. Uh, that's back in. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Survival Shield Nation Iodine X2 is set to sell out the next week. It can be upwards of a month and a half before more comes in. A true game changer. We've got uh, Deep Cleanse. Uh, I thought that was sold out. Can you click on that? Or, or did it come back in? Because I, I, I knew Deep Cleanse sold out. I was on the verge of selling out. Point is, all those products are excellent. I want to thank you all for your support. It takes money to fly to Rome. It takes money to make these documentaries. It takes money to send our reporters to follow the Pope. It takes money to cover Bohemian Grove. It takes money to cover vaccine damage. And we really appreciate you getting high-quality products in a win-win while funding the very tip of the spear in the fight against the globalists. So InfoWarsStore.com is the umbrella site. The sub-site for the nutraceuticals is InfoWarsLife.com. Find the longevity products at InfoWarsHealth.com discounted. So whether it's the sleep aid, knockout, winter sun, uh, whether it is uh, high-quality uh, Wake Up America coffee, 
uh, ancient defenses back in because the winter months are coming. It's all available at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Okay, going back to Leo Zagami. Uh, 